Hello, hello. Today let's see how to convert this Sony DVD player or VCD player or any other amplifier into Bluetooth device. And as this device, they have very good sound quality. The bass is good and the speakers are good. So instead of keeping this device idle at home or giving to someone else, you can just convert it to Bluetooth and use it as a Bluetooth speaker. Only thing is you can't carry it outside. You have to use it indoors. And there are two methods by which you can do it. You can convert it to Bluetooth. That is one is by connecting an external device like this. This is a Bluetooth receiver. And for, along with this, you need a cable of this kind. That is one side stereo pin, stereo jack like this and the other side there should be two outputs like this that is this cable is called stereo to two rca cable these are rca cable rca jacks so you need to input these two into the video or any other open port that is idle port in this there are two ports that is video and md input video input and md input so i can utilize any one of them now you, can, you need to just insert the stereo into the receiver and just plug this here into the video input or MD input. So I am inserting it into video input and I can switch it on and here we need to select video because I have connected the keyboard to video. Now I have connected to this and the thing with this, the problem with this and the disorder of this are you need to cover and connect the cable and this cable keeps on failing maybe around 6 months or 1 year and you will have to replace it again and the noise you can hear it is not from this one it is in the video and this one actually one more under this one is you will have to keep the power cable connected that is one is the input cable that is output from this one this device and the other one is power cable for charging this one or you can keep it connected uh, with the mobile phone charger, you connect it and keep it. So this is the big disadvantage of this, that you have to connect cables and the cables keep failing and again and again you have to buy the cable. And one more method is inserting a chip inside the device itself. So let's continue with that process, I will show it to you. Kindly hit the like icon if you like the video, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed. And if you have any loved ones, your friends, relatives who have kept the device idle at their home and they are not using you can just share the video to them so that they can convert it to bluetooth and they can use it and also i would like to say that i have posted all the links for the parts i am using the tools i have used etc in my description the video description itself and also the about description of my channel so if you people wish to support my channel you can just click on the link of buy, buy me a coffee which is there in the video description as well as in the channel description right. let's continue for that first of all we need to remove these screws here three three on this side three on this other side and two screws on the back of the unit that is here you can see one two three four and here five so we need to remove all this so let's continue for removing the cover we should slide it pull it a little bit upside back side and then pull it up we need to pull it up because here we can see there are these hold this screw here if you pull it 
in this way then these will break so we need to pull hole the hole of the cover and then push it back on take it out in this way this bluetooth board can be fixed here this way you can fix it here just insulate we need to insulate this part here and we need to take care of this crystal I'll use a small spacer and mount it here in this way and we will connect plus VCC for that I have taken a 7805 regulator IC to this we will give input from the main board power supply itself uh, no, there is no need of extra transformer 220 volts to 6 volts or 9 volts etc only thing is I will connect this 7805 I will draw voltage from the power supply of this unit itself and then we will connect the output left right and ground output to the main circuit here so now what I will do is here you can see You can see many capacitors here so I will draw voltage from one of these I think this one is the 9 volts it use 9 volts output so I will try to draw voltage from that one 5 volt because this Bluetooth circuit is doesn't consume much now this is ground here so Now the unit is in standby. So let me make it up. Okay, switch it on. You can see it shows 11 volts. So I'll drop this voltage from 11 to 5 volts. Okay, now I'll fix the regulator here. There is enough gap. Here you can see there is much gap and the cover won't touch the regulator IC. So I'll fix it here. I'll apply some heat sink compound. So that heat is dissipated properly if it heats up as the Bluetooth unit doesn't consume much power it should not heat much for safer side I am applying heating in compound fasten it okay now first let me check if there is any Okay, the tray is also working fine. The screw is not interfering in the tray movement. Okay, now switch it off. What I do is This is the PCB. Here it is written. This is negative and this is plus y. Here we see V bat and ground connection. So this is the 
positive and this is negative so let's solve it Here is the Bluetooth device. Now we need to connect. Now, as customer wants the connection to be done to the video input, here you see this is the video. Video, video section, audio input. Let me connect the speakers. So first let me shrink these tubes. Now we have connected everything, but the thing is, we can hear some noise. For example, see, I pause it. I think you are able to hear some noise. So, in comparison, you can hear this noise. So, for removing that noise, just disconnect the ground connection. That's enough. Now I'll play it. If you buy a full apartment, you have to sell the whole apartment. No. You be say Best part here. Skip there. Remove the plug from wall. So now, what I'll do, I'll not connect it. I'll just cut it. Well, the TV upside down. So, no need to connect this one. So, now we are able to hear it clearly. Sound is good. I'll decrease the volume. Increase the volume. It's good. You are uh, got the point. If there is noise, generated from the amplifier whenever you connect the bluetooth all you need to do is just replace this flat cable with the two core shielded wire and then the noise won't be hearable audible there won't be any noise the sound will be crystal clear now we will fix this one first of all we switch off the unit
take a spacer just cut it now take out this screw take this module Take a screw that is a little bit lengthier. See that this components will come down. Not the one, yes, we already kept it here. Okay. See that this there is a space, enough space. So that the cover will not touch this one. If you want, you can insulate this. Now, Just remember if there is any audio interference, noise, replace the cables. Just insulate it. Or else you can use a big one, a big heat tube. But I don't have one that holds the PCB. I have smaller one. It's not big enough. Let me check.
Okay. This is it. So, what's on the screw? After fixing here again, we need to check for the audio signal. So, let me switch it on and check. Take the top cover. Let's sit in this way here. First, insert it on the front side. Here, insert it on the front side. On the front side here. Then pull it backwards, and here there are grooves on the side. Just insert it. Here you see there are grooves. This should enter in this way. Here. Okay. Now we will fix the screws. And also you can see. Now its sound is good. If I change the function. There won't be any sound from the. No. Speaker right. See. You need to remove this Only in the video. Now, it was in the video. You need to remove the stick. working. You are not in the stability of the job. You are in the stagnancy of the job. And that is precisely what is happening. The volume on the phone is working. And if you are one of them, I want you to take a And the volume on the unit is also working. My name is Rakesh Rana. I am India's leading mid career acceleration coach. Over the last three years, okay. I have trained and transformed more than 18,000. Hope this video is going to be helpful for you in converting your old CD, Sony VCD or any other amplifier into a Bluetooth input function. If this video was helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.